Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. If you remember in the previous video, I left you guys working on this trail. I took the John Deere 755. We started kind of cutting a bench up and around the side of this hill to make a trail, but I ended up breaking a couple welds on my homemade log winch. I'll show you that in just a second. First thing we're gonna do is take the tractor up to the barn and get those welds fixed. If we get those fixed, we're gonna come back. I have to pull this stump and I gotta pull this little stump out of the way. And then we're gonna finish pushing our way down to the timber bridge. Of course, you guys remember the bridge. And get that transition finished the rest of the way. The tractor is really looking hard for the fuel this morning. It's like 10 degrees right now. It's pretty chilly. And to throw a good mix in there, there's a chance of about five inches of snow today. So, we'll see how it goes. There's where we broke. See how I can get my finger in there? See, it's supposed to be attached. Not attached, attached. That's what we gotta try to fix first. Oh no, she's really cold. This is supposed to be attached. Get my box off of here and out of the way. Get that out of the way. I got that on there, closed up. I got that built up and closed up enough. I was blowing through a little bit. Had to turn my amps down just a touch, but looks good enough for now. Long term, we're gonna get a piece of plate that goes from here to here and just make this solid, weld and weld. But I wanted it back together and functionable for the snow. You can see, just in the short time we were working on that, we are getting a fair amount. Fair amounts for us anyway. I'd say we've got at least half inch or so. And just because I don't feel like sliding off the timber bridge, we'll uh, we'll pick this particular video up probably about a week or so whenever the weather clears up and everything melts off the bridge and we can get back across without sliding off. So it's four days later on this. You can see all the snow is gone and we did not need 
did not need the winch, so that is good. Before we go out in the woods and pull those stumps, I want to add a couple of reinforcements I was talking about. I just happen to have these laying around already cut, so I'd like to plate the whole thing from like there down, but I don't have that. We'll run what we brung. You make a few trim marks on that. Get those welded in. And I've got this piece of scrap steel that uh, actually another lieutenant gave me. This is some of his old weightlifting equipment. And uh, he let me have this for scrap steel. I don't know if this is what he thought I was going to be doing with it, but technically we're still lifting, so I think we're okay. A lot of you guys suggested making one of these. Now we're going to cut this up and go out in the woods and try it, but I don't have my cutoff wheels yet. I found one partial. Look, I found two partials, huh? To do the plates. But I had another fellow message me on Instagram, and he said if you crank the amps up on your welder, and just burn through with your rod. You can kind of use that like a makeshift cutting torch to get stuff cut out of the way. Then you can always come back and grind it, clean it up later. So we're gonna try that to get some of this random stuff shaved off this. And then we'll go out in the woods, pull a log, pull some stumps, you know, we'll go do all that stuff.
So we made it out in the woods back to the trail. Here's the first stump right there. We're gonna try this contraption. Now I'll kind of show you. A few people made this suggestion. I've seen some people do it on YouTube before. They normally have a little bit bigger setup, but we're gonna try it. This is kind of the perfect shape for something that's just laying around. So the winch cable comes out, runs through this snatch block that's attached with this black strap. It's got like a double wrap, a clevis comes back, runs to that D-ring on the bottom side. And I've got this trap, this trap, nope, this strap, choked around the top of the stump. And it's, there's something going on here, but it's attached. Now, I'm a little pessimistic and I'll tell you why I designed that winch to dig in to pull logs up onto it. So I'm a little worried with this setup, all it's gonna do is just wanna pick that up and just drag the tractor. I don't know if it'll actually be able to pull it out in this setup. But I wanted to try it, you know? What's it hurt to try? What's it hurt? Um, let's see, you guys turn on. Thank you. Are you, oh, you're already, why were you recording? That's gonna be a long clip of nothing. Go, go, go. Okay, I gotta pull the battery and restart and then we'll do it. This is, I, GoPros, you know? If I had a dollar for every time I had to pull the battery and hard reset a GoPro, I'd probably have enough dollars to buy another GoPro and complain about the same thing, because that's just... Okay. Yeah, that's what it's doing. I don't know, it might still do it. We'll try it. That's what I'm talking about. Let's just go lift that up. Where are you going, tracker? You coming down to the party? Yeah, it's just not really, it's just not really what my setup's designed to do. Let me set it back up the way I would normally pull it. I think it'll pull it out that way. I've seen these work and I know they work great. Normally their winch is anchored to, you know, the bottom of a tree or something where it can't move and they work really well. But for the setup we run, I think we'll just stick to the regular, try it that way. That way it's actually pulling that into the ground. So now we're up there, we're kind of pulling down that anchor point a little bit. A little less mud up there too. We got the high traction leaves in place. Oh, that's a lot of noise on that strap. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. We got the bark pulled. Okay. Well, let's get a better bite on it. Maybe, I mean, it wanted it. Let's get a better bite on it. Was that? Tractor's not moving. You know, if I could just get a daggone thing to bite on there. So the tractor's not moving, which is good. Oh, she's a singing some kind of song. Oh God. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on on this end. She's moving down there. Or oh, are you guys recording? Dick on it. Never can remember. No. Oh, I forgot to turn you fellers on down here. Okay.
I guess just keep going with it, huh? That's an awkward angle on that clevis. Okay. Really not trying at all now because he's see how it's angled up and digging in like that? That's how it's supposed to go. I think we can take our we're able to just pull the whole thing now. Lever stump and all. I guess it will. I don't know why I wouldn't. Whatever you're doing with the winch, get the remote. I don't, it's man. Pull my slack out. Hold her tight while she runs in. If you leave her loose, she'll get all wonky up there and you'll end up rolling on your cable. Once you get a little pressure, you can get out of the way. Oh, she's all the way out, yeah. I mean, let's just leave it there. Ain't no point of going further than that. So up here, it worked how it was designed. Keep in mind, I made this thing to pull logs. It was made to pull low, so it pulls the winch, rocks this thing down, and digs that belly pan into the ground, and that acts as the anchor. When I was down there, it was going up and then down, which was, you saw it, lifting that up. And relying on the traction of the tires which even if there were r1s on there on that slimy mess would have still pulled the tractor but when we put it downhill and the top of that bar was lower than the winch it was doing what it's supposed to do is pulling it down and anchoring in and you could see it dug in a little bit oh the remote see now sometimes remotes are dangerous too let's just take that out of our pocket you can see though it dug in a little dirt but not a lot. It didn't even push anything up and over, which it's done before. And it pulled it out relatively easily. Don't get me wrong, this is not the biggest stump in the world. Here, let me, some size comparisons, shall we? How you guys doing? It's not the biggest stump in the world, but it's not the smallest either. And I think the coolest part, what I love most about it, I feel like I probably could have dug this out faster than it took me to get everything set up and pulled out, but I didn't tear anything up on the tractor. All the pressure, all the weight was on the winch. I'm not tearing up loader arms. I'm not bending the bucket. I'm not messing with the front end. I'm not tearing anything up on the tractor by pulling this out. The only thing I risk breaking is, well, the winch, which we've broken and fixed it before. Not that big a deal. And this um, little metal tubing setup. So I do like it. I do like it. There's one more smaller one down there. This one. This little fella right here. Now that I kind of got the setup down, I mean, that was less than a minute, wasn't it? Wow. Yeah, that's a lot smaller stump, but how long would that take me to, oh, the daggone remote again. How long would that have taken me to uh, dig out with the tractor bucket, you know?
Again, it's a small stump, but that had taken me 15, 20 minutes to dig that out with the tractor. I know, because I did on the other one up there. Now it didn't take me any time. Oh, watch out, fellas. Hold on, hold on. You're okay. Oh, I lied. That looks good. Okay. I mean, it feels foolproof up to this point. Yep. My concern is it gets snagged in another tree and then we just end up with a big old mess. You know, that's the downfall. You're, you're pulling towards an anchor tree. So, uh, we'll see. The good news is this tree I'm anchoring to is another tree of heaven and it needs to come down anyway. So if we do get super snagged in it, we can get rid of it. It needs to go. Come on, tractor. Dig in. Here's the plan. I'm just gonna cut it somewhere in here and we'll hook onto it and we'll pull that way and see if we can't use that like a big lever and just twist this out of the way. That'll work. When we pull it, it'll break off the rest of the way.
I'd say that's good enough. We can take the tractor now that it's loose and just shove it down the hill. We'll hop over there in just a second. Good news here. Now the weld's broke. Everything looks good. I don't see any issues there. I'm not saying they look pretty, but they held and I feel like we pulled pretty hard today. So hopefully that issue's taken care of. As far as what's going on over here, you can see the creek is flowing. Got some water in it down there. Looking good. But you can see with that tree out of the way, straight shot. That'll be perfect. I think that was worth the effort. And uh, honestly, considering what we're using, it really wasn't that much effort. But straight shot through there. A lot of people suggested bringing some of those bigger rocks to build this up more. But what you got to keep in mind, everything that we dig out and push this way is going to end up right here. So this will all get filled in with all of that cut, if you'll, if you'll allow me to say that. I don't know if you can do a cut with a 755, but that's where it's all going to end up. We'll look at it back this way again. All this mess, I haven't done any burning out here because I don't have any good fire breaks between me and the National Forest. But now that this trail, or when this trail gets done, this will act like a really great fire break. And I'll be able to get all these tops and all this stuff cleaned up, burnt up, and I won't have to worry about it taking off on me, jumping over the National Forest. That tree was right there, and we were gonna go around it. Now we can right on in. That's gonna work great. I was gonna try to go ahead and push some of this mud out, push some of the dirt out. I think we pushed our luck enough today. That little fulcrum device, that little lever device, actually works pretty good. I was uh, pleasantly surprised. It's gonna be all about how I set the angle of the tractor so it's pulling down on the winch like it's supposed to, but it looks like it's gonna work pretty good. That's definitely pretty handy, and considering that thing was already built and all I had to do is just cut some stuff off of it, you can't beat that. I mean, that's a pretty good sized tree. Yeah, I could rent some equipment, but the whole point of building these implements is so I don't have to rent equipment. The whole point of building the implements and building this stuff is so I can do more with the size tractor I have, therefore saving me money in the long run or time in the long run as far as equipment rental goes. I would rather take more time getting it down to what I have than be working somewhere, earning money to pay for the equipment rental. You know what I mean? I'd just rather be out here working with it. And I love that, I mean, it pulled a tree down. Not sure we're gonna do that a lot, but you know, if we have to, we have to. It worked pretty good. So we'll finish this thing off with drone flight and probably a little bit of music. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Should I do the outro on the drone flight or do it now? These are the things we have to think about. I'll do the outro now and then you stick around if you want to see the drone. Appreciate you guys watching. Working for Dirt Perfect tomorrow, so that's coming up. 
a lot of gunshots today that's okay appreciate you guys watching as always no that's not how it goes as always appreciate you guys watching thanks for watching i'm glad you're watching there's better things you could be doing with your time and you're spending it on the channel supporting the channel i do appreciate that there we'll do that one and uh, also do me a favor you're probably sitting there texting somebody right now uh you know on your next message just be like hey don't know if you've ever seen a guy pull a tree down with a winch but here's a fellow that did it it's kind of entertaining you know if you could uh, help me build the channel that'd be awesome i would appreciate that gosh outros are hard mm -hmm.